Does Monday at the office feel like a storm? Not with Microsoft Copilot. That feeling when Copilot gets everyone up to speed instantly? It's sunny again. When Copilot simplifies complex data so your teams can act, that sun's shining on a beach. And when Copilot uncovers hidden insights, you're on that beach with your people and you find buried treasure. That's Microsoft Copilot. Learn more at Microsoft.com slash AI for all. Hey there. Did you know Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Baker's app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Baker's today. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Welcome to another segment of A Brief History, where we delve into the captivating stories of figures who shaped the past. I'm your host, Rebecca Larson, and today we unravel the tale of Anne Plantagenet, York Princess. The Tudor's Dynasty Podcast. Anne's story unfolds amidst the opulent halls of Westminster Palace on a cool November day in 1475. As the seventh child of King Edward IV and Elizabeth Woodville, her arrival marked the dawn of a new era at court. Coincidentally, just months prior, a treaty had been signed by King Louis of France, reshaping the political landscape. In a bid to secure the return of Margaret of Anjou, wife of the late and deposed Henry VI, Louis paid a hefty ransom of 50,000 gold crowns. However, the price of freedom came with a cost. Margaret was compelled to relinquish any holdings she had in England to Edward IV, which she did. Interestingly, this diplomatic agreement also included a betrothal promise between Anne's older sister, Elizabeth of York, and King Louis's heir, Charles the Affable. With this unexpected, but not uncommon, Twist in royal engagements, Anne's journey began amidst the swirl of diplomatic negotiations and regal unions, setting the stage for her own involvement in the complex world of courtly affairs. Just like her sisters, Anne's future was in the hands of her father. Her husband would be chosen as a political match. At the age of four, Anne's destiny took a significant turn when she was betrothed to Philip the Handsome, son of the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I. This union, forged as part of a diplomatic treaty between England and Burgundy, held the promise of political stability in a time of unrest. But fate had other plans. The unexpected death of King Edward IV in 1483 plunged the realm into chaos. Richard, Anne's uncle was proclaimed king, and he did not agree with the terms of the treaty with France, not to mention the fact that he declared the children of his brother and Elizabeth Woodville of a bigamous nature, and so they were deemed illegitimate. So Anne was no longer betrothed to the emperor's son, Philip the Handsome, and Philip went on to wed Juana of Castile, Catherine of Aragon's sister, in 1496. As power struggles ensued, Anne found herself caught in the midst of a royal feud between her uncle Richard and her mother Elizabeth Woodville. Within the sacred confines of Westminster Abbey, seeking sanctuary, Anne and most of her siblings, along with their mother, found refuge amidst a storm of uncertainty and peril. The ascension of her uncle Richard to the throne, now crowned as King Richard III, heralded a dark period as he questioned the validity of Anne's legitimacy, shrouding her future in a veil of doubt. Yet, as the tides of fate shifted dramatically at the Battle of Bosworth and the dawn of the Tudor era under Henry VII emerged, Anne's fortunes underwent an immense transformation. The uncertainty of her legitimacy lifted as her rightful place as a daughter of Edward IV was reaffirmed beckoning her back to the illustrious court. There, alongside her sisters, Anne reclaimed her position, 
gracing royal ceremonies with her presence in a prominent role. In the early 1490s, a figure emerged, claiming to be Anne's long-lost brother Richard, under the guise of Perkin Warbeck, sparking widespread upheaval across the realm. Warbeck's audacious assertion of royal lineage as the younger prince in the tower stirred fears and uncertainties regarding the succession to the throne. Responding to the mounting tensions, Henry VII took a decisive step in 1494, investing his second son, Henry, with the title Duke of York, a move mirroring the position once held by Anne's missing brother, Richard. Amidst the chaos caused by Warbeck's presence, it wasn't until 1495 that Anne's long-awaited nuptials finally took place. She exchanged vows with Thomas Howard, Earl of Surrey, future third Duke of Norfolk. Howard's selection was strategic, as his father had staunchly supported Richard III. By joining Anne in matrimony to the son of his enemy's ally, Henry VII forged a crucial alliance, solidifying his family's grip on the English throne amidst the chaos of political intrigue and uncertainty. Tragically, Anne's happiness was short-lived, and her life not well documented. Though she bore four children, none survived beyond infancy. Princess Anne, Countess of Surrey, died sometime around the 22nd of November, 1511. During the dissolution of the monasteries, Anne's body was moved from Thedford Priory to the Church of St. Michael the Archangel in Framlingham. A new tomb was then built by Thomas Howard for his late wife. And so the tale of Anne Plantagenet Howard, a princess of York, Countess of Surrey, comes to a close, leaving much to the imagination of the annals of history. Thank you so much for joining me today on this episode of A Brief History. If you're looking for a commercial-free experience, head on over to Patreon and become a patron. Just search for Tudor's Dynasty. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Tudor's Dynasty podcast. You can follow and support the Tudor's Dynasty podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon at Tudor's Dynasty.